Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. I want to give you a quick update on the Alabama Forestry Association's live pigeon shoot which Shark exposed on March 1, 2018. We already showed you some images of the shoot and we have a lot more showing just how cruel these pitiless people are. We showed you some of the rescue efforts that occurred after the shoot. And again, there is much, much more of this documentation. What we haven't shown is what happened the next day. Shark traveled to Montgomery, Alabama, which is where the Alabama Forestry Association is headquartered. Since the AFA members didn't bother to clean up after themselves, we decided to give them another opportunity. We brought along some of the pigeon carcasses that we picked up along with the live rescues that didn't make it through the night and we carefully deposited them on the AFA's property. Immediately afterward, I walked to the AFA's office entrance to have a word. We blurred the image of the fellow I spoke to because he denied being at the slaughter and I believe he was telling the truth. He was apparently the only one there. I suppose the others were still recovering after their blood orgy. All right, what was your name again? Steve Hindi. Uh, they never write when you want them to, do they? No, they don't. H I N D I. H I N D I. My phone number. Not surprisingly, and in spite of providing my phone number for their convenience, no one from the AFA has given me a call. On March 3, we uploaded a video called Shark Exposes the Cruel Cowards of the Alabama Forestry Association. Within about a half hour, the video was locked into private mode by YouTube. Someone had filed a complaint claiming that we had used unrelated or misleading tags on our video. While I didn't know that such a complaint even existed, we surely were not guilty of it. While we don't have proof that the AFA was behind this baseless complaint, they are the only logical suspects. In any case, the false misleading tags claim only locked the video out for a couple of days. Then YouTube exonerated us and we made it public again. Meanwhile, if it was the AFA that filed the bogus complaint, that was a signal that the clips of their slaughter were really hurting them. And now the AFA and the world are going to see lots more. Interestingly, the flyer the association had posted on their website is gone. The members have transformed from their big, brave pigeon shooter personas into the scared little bully cowards they really are. The Alabama Forestry Association is an example of what we call the three C's of animal abuse. Cruelty, as in the shoot and its abandonment of the still living victims. Cowardice, as in the AFA being afraid to even talk to us and corruption, as in lying to try to keep the evidence of the cruelty from going public. Their every move has been bad, ethically and strategically. For being supposedly sharp business people, these folks sure seem stupid. The AFA will try to keep its next shoot secret, but we're going to find out about it, and we're going to be there, and there will be more of us. Next time, we'll get nice, clean, close-up photos of the people involved, just like what we've done at other shoots. Now, I will briefly address the members of the Alabama Forestry Association. Unless you publicly declare that you will never conduct such a slaughter again, we're going to keep putting out videos exposing you. Until you make that public statement, we're going to work to expose you for the disgusting creeps you are. Shame on the cruel, cowardly, and corrupt members of the Alabama Forestry Association. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.